40,000 years of nuclear winter. In phase two, and with funding from NASA, we will equip this massive statue with rockets. So when the poopy hits the proverbial fan, we will load up the statue with all of the people who have saved themselves through generous donations, blast into space, and colonize Saturn with a race of morally correct, affluent people ruled by me. Hmm, will there be naked people? No, turd brain. It's more like corrupt people like you we're shielding ourselves from. Liberals, degenerates, the Welsh. They're the ones responsible for the nightmare Vice City is today. The crime in the streets, the parties, the children born out of wedlock to a future of hopelessness. Anyone who does not agree with me is mentally sick and should be shot, I'm afraid to say. We need to build a place to escape these transgressions. Whew, <laughs> that's extreme stuff, Pastor. But we'll leave amateur eugenics for a minute and ask our other panelists. Jan, you're a mom, so you know everything. What is your thought on all this? And do you think Pastor Richard stole his ideas from a movie or book? Well, yes, I am a mom. My kids are very special. So special, they go to special classes. I teach my kids history to give them perspective. Last night I was telling them about how Magellan sailed around the Strait of Magellan and met some friendly natives that gave him supplies. Um, then he had to kill all of them. And that's an important lesson about life. If you look at nature, you'll see many species that eat their children to protect them. Th this is especially true of hamsters. It's about putting the family first. That's really important to me and where a lot of my morality comes from. And if you don't like it, find your own husband and stay away from mine, okay? Okay, but, and um, excuse me if I... Since I'm a happily married mother, I know the family unit is the basis of all society. Now, even when my husband is working late or away on an extended business trip to Hawaii with his secretary, I understand just how important the family unit is in life. He's working hard so I can get another station wagon with even more wood on it. Go on. Tell me more about your family. Uh, well, I like to compare it to nature. After all, it is one planet, even if we do just want to name it. You learn so much from nature. But people these days, they don't grow their own food. They can barely get out of their recliners and make it to the supermarket. <laughs> I tell you, there is nothing super about that place. Now, kids these days don't know how to preserve and can their own food. Now, no wonder all they want to do is play video games or hang out. 